Warriors. It's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior. Glory to God. I'm so excited about this word. Today is January 12th, 2024. Glory to God. And I have a word. I have a word. I have a word. What I heard the Father say is a new era of unaccountable blessings. A new era of unaccountable blessings in Jesus' name. And before I get into this word, I just want to pause really quick. And I want to welcome each and every one of you for tuning in. No matter what time of day it is, no matter where you are, I welcome you. I send you the blessing. I love you in Jesus' name. To those of you tuning in for the first time today, know that if you clicked on this video, it was not by chance. It was not by coincidence. But if you clicked on this video today, you clicked on this video on purpose, for a purpose, and you will not leave this video today empty handed in Jesus name. Warriors, the father began opening up this word to me this past Tuesday and it blew my mind as I sat with him and I heard clearly a new era of unaccountable blessings because even though I thought I knew what a new era meant I had to google it because I knew the father was gonna unveil more to me and a new era means a memorable or important date or event especially one that begins a new period in the history of a person or a thing. Glory to God. And unaccountable blessings means blessings that are impossible to account for, to explain because they're unexplainable, they're unusual. Glory to God. And I believe that this is just a continuation of the words the Father has already given me when he kicked off this year to a beautiful beginning. When he kicked off the next word and he said he was closing it out, it was time to reset. So all of this is in alignment, glory to God in Jesus name. This is a new era. This is a new period. This is the beginning again of history. Glory to God. Because many of you that are tuning into this channel have made the decision to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Because you have withstood the test and the trials, glory to God. Because you chose to pick up your cross and suffer for a little while. What has happened now in this new era is generational curses have been dismantled. You have given the, those that are coming behind you glory to God. Your descendants, descendants, your children's children's children. A fresh opportunity to not have to fight the same battles that you had to fight, that your grandparents had to fight, that your parents had to fight. Glory to God. And so the father was showing me in this new era, there is going to be a transformation because you're going to be shifting from your view to God's view. Your view to God's view. How many of us know that our view is not God's view? See, God's view is. His thoughts are higher than ours. His ways are higher. He sees the ending of a thing before it even begins. Glory to God. And the father is saying he's about to change the way you see things in this new era. And he was showing me that it's important that we not overlook the journey. That we focus on what was promised. That we don't look at the time, that we don't look at the routes that he has taken us, but we enjoy the journey because it's leading us to a destination. 
The journey may have different twists and turns. The journey may take longer time, may take a longer time for some of us than others. But the destination, the inheritance, the reward, the well done, it all remains the same in Jesus name. And the father was showing me that there's been a testing when 2020 hit. That was a heart test. It was a heart check, glory to God. In 2020, you saw people do one or two things. You saw people either one throw in the towel or you saw people pick up their cross and still continue to move forward by faith. So this word is for those who picked up their cross and they still continue to move forward by faith because they might not have known how 2020 was going to end. But they held on to the truth when the word says that he that began a good work in you was faithful to finish the glory to God. They stood on the truth that the father had good plans, good thoughts for their life. And so these four years, glory to God, have been an opportunity for those to either continue moving forward by faith or for those to turn away and begin again, glory to God. But whatever you have, wherever you found yourself, if you have found yourself today in faith, then this word is for you. You are about to see a new era. You are about to see things from God's view. You are about to have complete understanding and clarity why you were in certain places, why you were in certain groups, why you were removed from certain places, why you were removed from certain groups. It was all working together for your total good. And the father is about to reintroduce you to some of these former places that he removed you from at one point in time. And these were places that you were in, that you were serving him wholeheartedly. See, you knew that everything that you did, every seed that you planted had a return. And because you focus on the good seeds, because you focus on having your fear of the most high God, not fear of man, but fear of the most high God, because you remained humble, you are about to feast on honor, riches and life in this new era of unaccountable blessings. The father unveiled this word to me and he showed me how it's important to focus on the journey and the destination to enjoy the journey glory to God and just focus on the destination to not get caught up in the time to not get caught up in the route but to stay focused on your position your obedience to move when and how he tells you to You're about to have a new vision and a new sight. And it's going to be supernatural. So you're going to be able to see the unaccountable blessings, the big ones and the small ones as well. Every day, the father has been showing up and showing out. And I've been able to see the unaccountable blessings. And I see him in them all whether they're small, whether they're big, because he's changed the way I look at things. He's changed it to where I'm not no longer looking through Corinne's eyes, but now I'm seeing God's view. Glory to God. And I know what I'm seeing ain't even touching the surface because God is God all by himself. But he gave me some scriptures, warriors, to solidify this word. And to bring it all together when he's saying a new era of unaccountable blessings. And the first scripture he gave me is Colossians 3 verses 23 through 24. And the word of God says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord, you will receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. See, when you get to that place in life, 
where wherever you show up, whatever assignment he sends you on, you are operating in that excellent spirit, that Daniel spirit, that Joseph spirit, because you know that the father sees it all. You're doing it heartily and heartily is wholeheartedly, sincerely, genuinely from the bottom of one's heart, eagerly, enthusiastically. So you are serving in spite of how others are serving you because you know where your reward comes from. You know that your father in heaven sees it all. So even if they thought They were shortchanging you, even if they thought they were overlooking you, even if they thought they were mistreating you, even if they thought they got away with lying on your name. The father has always been your source and he was always going to reward you as you continue To serve from a pure place. The other scripture that the father gave me. And this is how I knew he was making a distinction. This is how I knew there was a separation from those who threw in the towel and those who picked up the cross. Because he led me to Matthew chapter 25 verse 32 through 40. I'm going to read that whole passage. But above that passage in my Bible, it says the son of man will judge the nations. And so the father has been long suffering and patient. And so many since 2020 have been speaking a similar word because the Holy Spirit speaks one language and one language only. And whether it's coming from me or another worker in his kingdom, it will be truth and it will align. That is how you are able to test the spirit. And so the father has been testing the spirit and he's been paying close attention to what many have been continuing to do with their talents What many have been continuing to do with their oil glory to God. And so we're entering into a new era of unaccountable blessings, a beautiful beginning, a closing out and a resetting again. And so there will be judgment in the nations. But if you are of those who have continued to walk by faith and not by sight, then you are going to find yourself on the right side in Jesus name. And so this is Jesus speaking in Matthew 25 verses 32 through 40. And it says, all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Mm. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. Mm. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Verse 37. Then the righteous. The righteous. Those who wholeheartedly were serving man as they were serving God because they knew who their judge was. Mm. Verse 37, then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in or naked and clothe you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. 
in Jesus' name. No seed has been left behind. No seed has been forgotten. The Father has seen your works in Jesus' name. He has kept account of your works. He has seen the posture of your heart. He has seen you continue to move even when you have faith the size of a mustard seed, even when you didn't understand, even when it hurt. No seed has been lost. No deed has gone unnoticed because you journeyed forward by faith. Even when you didn't have a lot, but you knew you had more than enough to be a blessing to someone else because you sold when no one was looking, because you helped others and you served when no one was looking, even those you knew weren't for you, even those you knew were plotting behind your back. Listen, warriors, in this new era, it's going to all make sense. That is why the Father is going to be continuing to shower down unaccountable blessings on you because you are beginning again. And it's beautiful, says God, because as he honors you, as he glorifies you so he can in turn get the glory, those that you once served that did not have the same heart as you, they're going to be blessed and their heart is going to change. And that's why the father was showing me you're going to be reintroduced to some places because where you weren't seen before, where you were misunderstood before, where you were overlooked before, where you were counted out before, where you may have even been seen as a troublemaker before, they're going to understand. They're going to see outside of their own eyes and God is going to give them his view of you. So open your eyes, keep your head on the swivel, warriors. Look to see the father in everything. Look to see those unaccountable blessings, those small things that others will overlook. But you know, it is God hugging on you and loving on you. Because it's all being made beautiful in Jesus' name. And nothing you have done in connection with the Most High God has gone to waste. But this is your time to be celebrated and to experience the inheritance, the rest on all sides that only the Most High God can give you in Jesus' name. I love you, warriors. I pray this word finds the one and I pray that it bolsters up their faith and encourages them. And I pray that they will switch from their view to God's view, that they will enjoy the journey, that they will focus in on the destination and not the time nor the route that he has been taking them because it's all been working together for their good in Jesus name. If this word bless you, I ask that you plant the seed of a thumbs up, plant the seed of an amen in the comments, plant the seed of subscribing. If you're tuning in for the first time today, hit the bell, share the video in Jesus name. I send you all the blessings. I bless you a hundredfold for every seed that you have sown into me of your time, of your support, of your encouragement, of your prayers, of your testimonies, even the physical seeds. I I bless you a hundredfold for them all. I'm honored. I'm so honored to be a vessel that the father can use in a time such as this, because it's a new era and it's about to go down in Jesus name. So purpose warriors unite, unite and remember who you are and whose you are in Jesus name. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon.